Hello everybody, I'm here to show you how to color your Mersham pipe. There's a few uh, videos on the internet that uh, talk about coloring Mersham pipes, but nobody um, tells you how to do it. Uh, they All they're basically doing is just saying, hey look, this is my, my pipe is coloring up. But don't give you any kind of technique or how to do it. So this is... Uh, this is a video that's going to help you color your pipe. So what we have here is a brand new Beckler Mersham pipe. And this one right here is also made by Beckler. And the one on the right looked just like the one on the left five days ago. It's only been smoked once a day. So you can imagine, if you continue to do the, my technique, how dark it will eventually get. So, my technique is, and I'm sure that people have their own way of doing it, but my particular technique is that uh, you want, first of all, you want to make sure that your Mersham pipe has uh, wax on it. Most Mersham pipes do already come with wax. Uh, when you first start coloring your pipe or if you have been trying to color your pipe and you want to do it this way you want to completely fill it to the bowl with aromatic uh, tobaccos that is the best for coloring some people may not like to smoke aromatics but if you really want it colored good that's that's a tobacco to use and the reason why is because there is a lot of oils and aromatics and that is what actually does the coloring okay so fill it up completely to the top with aromatic tobacco and start smoking it and I'm gonna go ahead and light this one up and I'll come back and show you how uh, I darken this up Alright, okay we got a lid up. You can smoke it normally just like the way you do, you know, but if you want it colored, you want to smoke it upside down. And I'm going to grab this hose right here and show you what I'm talking about. This is what you need to do if you want to color it. You want to blow through your pipe occasionally upside down like this. Uh, you see all that smoke coming up around it? That's what's coloring it. So, smoke it upside down, blow through it a little bit, and get it on there. And um, I'm going to light this thing back up again. All right. So, that's what you're going to do. You're going to smoke it up, upside down. Let that smoke surround the pipe and um, and it'll start coloring it. And um, another thing is um, occasionally blow on it. If you if don't worry about holding the pipe for for one instance too. Uh, a lot of guys say no, don't hold your immersion pipe. They want to hold it right here on the stem. Bull crap. It's not going to hurt it. Matter of fact, the oils from your hands are, are also going to color the pipe. So occasionally drag on, on the pipe and blow your smoke on the pipe. Okay. 
Yeah, that's one of the problems with the uh, aromatics. Got to get it just lit just right. So, occasionally blow on that pipe. See what I'm talking about? Just blow on it. Occasionally as you're smoking it, get a mouthful of smoke, blow right on the pipe. And and it'll start darkening up. And like I said, this pipe right here looked just like that. Smoking only five times once a day So you can imagine how dark it's going to get over time as I start smoking it So another hint is when you get it hot Okay I'm gonna wait till see if this thing will cool down. But anyway when you're done smoking it and Your your ashes are almost completely done while it's still warm Here's another technique that I do that gets this dark. You want to plug that in, take your mouthpiece off, plug that in there, get your aromatic tobacco, and stick it inside the bag while it's warm, no ashes in it, no em uh, embers, but while it's still warm, stick it in your tobacco bag pull the tobacco and, and cover it completely up and as the pipe starts cooling down it also starts sucking the uh, oils from the tobacco into the pipe so this is my technique on how to darken and color Martian pipes and there's a lot of uh, People that don't want to give up their secrets, but hey, man, we're all in this together. Uh, we need to all share each uh, other's experiences and techniques. So I hope that helps you. But I mean, you can see big difference. Five smokes. Well, this will be the sixth time now that I just lit it up. So hope that helps you. Have a good day.